There's so much out of your control that no matter how good you are, how well you're prepared, how good your equipment is, it may not be good enough ever. I'm Chris O'Young and I'm a photographer who specializes in concerts and live performance. You're trying to capture this insane thing going on in front of you that, that sort of has no logic to it. The hardest part is actually preparing yourself for what's going to happen on stage. Whether there's motion blur in the image or not, that should be my decision, a conscious decision on my part. And a lot of that goes back to learning the technique first. You have to know every aspect or variable of the camera. Once you've mastered the tool, or technical aspects of something, I think that's when the creative doors sort of open up. There's a shot of the lead singer of the Pigeon Detectives doing this jump shot. He's just like suspended in air. I knew he would do this. I had to get this one shot. There were so many photographers credentialed, so the photography pit was completely overwhelmed by security and and photographers, so I decided not to go into the pit and just wait in the crowd. When the lights came up, there was no front lighting on the band. There was no light on the band's faces. It's just not the same if you can't tell who it is. So I luckily had my flash with me and, and stuck that on and just calculated what it would take in order to get this perfectly frozen moment and where I would need to be to get this shot. I had three chances during the 15 minutes I was there, and I was standing there with like all these people and they're cheering and waving and, and going absolutely crazy, and I finally got it. You have to be prepared to take that photo. Nothing you do ahead of time might actually matter, and I'm sure there are times when, with all of my 30 pounds of camera gear strapped to my body and all of my training and discipline that there is someone with a point-and-shoot camera right in back of me at the front of the barrier who nailed the shot that I missed. It's great and infuriating at the same time. You have to go back to being a music fan. No, no shot is so important that it's worth destroying someone else's night for. I say that now, but... The shot hasn't presented itself where I would do that, let's say. It's true, I've photographed musicians and stuff gets crazy, but I try to keep it as professional as possible, whenever possible, but every night's a different night. <laughs> Watch Chris compete in the Viewfinders Music Challenge. What's the best concert photo you've ever taken? Submit a photo for a chance to be featured on the Viewfinders Photography Block. To find out more, visit www.zoom-in.com slash photography. When you are in this kind of work, you have to be quick because you have to provide pictures for the agency, for your magazine, so you shoot a lot. For my editing, I come back home, download the, the card on my computer, and then I use um, one software, Lightroom, I think I try everything on the market. Uh, but now I'm really working with Lightroom because it's fast. You can do everything, captioning, keywording, make your post treatment, and send the picture in the same time. And everything is in, in the same software.